In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic funnel. So this is the second part of our two part mini series. In our first video, I showed you how to create a landing page and left a space for our opt-in form. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create that opt-in form and also how to create the thank you page. Today's episode is made possible by divicate.com. Check out their layouts, themes, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. And before we get started, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free WordPress course called WordPress Mastery. The link to that is in the description below. It's 100% free. You can go ahead and enroll on that course. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using Divi, which is the software that we'll be using today, I also have a discount on the course, but if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to that course also absolutely free. All you have to do is to send me an email with your receipt to show me that you've purchased it using my affiliate link. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to go to our dashboard and create our thank you page. So I'm going to come over here to dashboard click on pages and then add new. So we're going to call this page. Thank you. But you can name it whatever you want, obviously. Right. So now that we have named our page, the next stage now is to use the different builder. But you know what? In the previous video, I also had to come back in here and uh, remove the header and the footer. So we might as well do the same thing. We don't want our header and a footer onto our thank you page. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our template and click on blank page. Right, so now that we have that all set, I'm just going to publish the page and then I'm going to go to our Visual Builder and start building our page. So I'm going to click here on Use Divi Builder and then I'm going to go straight to the Visual Builder. We're going to click on Build from Scratch and then we're going to first add our column structure and we're just going to go with the basic column here, which is a single column. And in here, we just want to add our blurb. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Right, so... Over here, we're going to say success. And then this is where you can add your personal message. So you can also add messages like, uh, please check your email for registration details or whatever it is that you want to add. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to leave this as it is. Right. So the next thing we're going to do now is to come over here to our image and icon. Right now we have an, a placeholder image. We don't need that. So I'm just going to delete that and then activate use icon. So this is now where we can scroll down here and choose the icon we need. So we just want something basic here, just something like a check mark to show that everything has gone on well. It can be also a thumbs up if you want to. So let's try a thumbs up here. Right, so now that I have that all set, the next stage is to customize the text. So I'm gonna come over here to design. And then the first thing I'm going to do is we might as well work on the uh, icon. So I'm going to click image and icon. Right. So let's start by adding a circle here and then let's add some colors. So I'm just going to use green for this. And then for the actual icon, um, let's try white. So I think that will work fine. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do, if that circle is uh, too big, you can always come over here to use icon font size and then reduce the size a little bit. Okay, so we're going to reduce to about 50. And then next, we're going to come over here to the text and we're going to center everything. And then we're going to start customizing this text. So I'm going to start over here with the success. So over here, you can see when I mouse over this area, this gives me this brush tool. So I'm going to click on that and that takes me directly to heading four. Right, so now we can customize this. So let's start off by changing our font. So we're going to change this to Poppins. Select that. And then we're just going to make this nice and big. So I'm going to come over here to my text size, increase the size like that. So I think 44 or 42 is fine. Okay, so you can also change the color if you want, but we, we're just going to make uh, everything basic here. Just leave it as it is. And then over here, we're also going to uh, change our font. So by default, it's set to the font uh, set by default, but we want pop-ins. And then we're also going to increase our size here to maybe about 18 and then increase the line height as well. Okay, so that's your success message. Right, so now that we have this message all set, the next thing we're gonna do now is to go into our section settings, click on um, design, and then over here on spacing, we are going to add padding to this. So I'm gonna start off with say 10% and see how that looks. And then I'm also gonna add 10% to the bottom. 
okay? So that just ensures that when our page loads, it has space both on the top and the bottom. Right, so with that said, I'm gonna click on save changes. So now we have our page and it's looking good. We're gonna save the page and then publish it. I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so the next stage now is to go to ConvertKit. This is the autoresponder software that I use. I really like the simplicity of this software. It's fantastic and I've been using this for over two years. And as you can see, my list is actually growing day by day and over here today there's been two subscribers so it's really really good i really like it and they keep adding new features to this and also if you want to uh, try it out i can also leave a link in the description below so you can go and check it out right so what we're going to do now is we are going to create our brand new form so i'm going to come over here to forms come over here and click on new form so i'm just going to click here on form inline and we want it clean, so I'm going to choose this one here. Right, so let's give this a name. So we're going to call this Simple Funnel. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to come over here and save it. So as you can see, we have several ways here to embed our form. But the, uh, the way I prefer is to install the ConvertKit plugin and then add the shortcode. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come back over here to our website, click on uh, Dashboard. So I'm just going to save and exit for now. And then I'm gonna come over here to my plugins, click on add new. We're gonna search for ConvertKit. Right, so this is the first result here. I'm gonna click on install now and activate the plugin. Okay, so now that the uh, plugin is activated, we still need to go in and go to the settings and connect our ConvertKit plugin here to our ConvertKit, ConvertKit account. Now, the reason why we're doing this is when someone signs up onto the landing page, they need to be added to a mailing list. So this is why this stage is very important. So I'm going to come over here to settings. I need to add my API key and my API secret. So this can be found by coming over here to my ConvertKit account. I'm just going to close this for now because we can always go back. Okay, so I'm going to close this here. And then I'm going to go to right here at the top, click on my account settings. So this is my API key. I'm going to copy it, paste my API key here. And now we need the API secret. So again, I'm going to copy it, paste my secret, save changes. So now it's time to choose the form. So remember, we created a form called basic funnel or simple funnel. And it's all the way up down here on the bottom. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to save changes. Okay, so now let's go back to our page and add our shortcode. So I'm going to come out over here to pages, click on all pages. And uh, I think our page is called WordPress promo. So I'm going to click on edit, click on visual builder. Okay, so now let's add our modules. So I'm going to click here on this plus button to add our brand new module. I'm going to click on that, search for my text module and click on text. Right, so now it's time to come over here to our account settings. And then we're going to go back over here to our forms. So we need to find that form. So the form should be right here on the bottom. So I'm going to click here on simple uh, funnel. Embed. And then we're going to go for the WordPress option and then copy this code. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here to my page. And then I'm just going to get rid of all this text and paste my shortcode. I'm going to save. And now you can see that our form is in place. Okay, so let's say you want to make some customizations to this. Now over here on the top right, if we click here on this gear icon, we get more options. So this is where you can show your success message. Now in our case, because we created a thank you page, we don't need this default success notification. So we want this to redirect. So this is now where our thank you page comes. So I want to copy here this link to my thank you page, come back over here to uh, ConvertKit and then paste my URL over here. So when someone signs up here by entering their name and email, they will be redirected to our thank you page. Okay, so that's how easy it is.
Okay, so over here on uh, incentive email, all I do is to just auto confirm new subscribers. Okay, so I don't normally send uh, an incentive uh, email. I just leave that as it is. So now that I've unchecked that, this will just auto confirm. So that means every time someone signs up onto this uh, email, uh, onto this mailing list, they will be automatically added onto the list, which is great. Right, so over here, this is where you can get to style this. So at the moment, we just want it, you know, nice and clean. So we're not going to mess around with that. And then over here, we also have more advanced settings. So usually I just leave this as it is. So then just click on save. So that is now all set. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go back and test to see if this is working fine. Right, so I'm going to come over here on our main page. I'm just going to save this. In fact, you know what? If you want to go and further customize this, you can always go in and, you know, add a background color to that. So let's quickly go in and do that. So let's say uh, we add our color here. I'm going to add this um, yellow. In fact, I'm just going to change the color a little bit here. So by adding a color, this just sort of like uh, gives focus on to where the user should add their name and email address. All right, so now that I have set my color, the next thing I'm going to do is to come over here to design, spacing, and then I'm going to set some um, padding. So on the left here, I'm just going to drag the slider here to about, let's say, 140. And then we're also going to add some top padding like that. So now our form has, our opt-in form has enough breathing space. So you can, you know, you can just eyeball this and just drag here until you're happy with how it looks. So this seems okay. So I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and save. And then I'm also going to save the page and exit the visual builder. So the next stage now is to obviously promote this page on social media, paid traffic, whatever it is. If you create videos, maybe you can mention uh, this link in your video so that a lot of people come to this page. So when they come to this page, they listen to the video. And then if they're excited or they're interested in what you have to say, all they do is to add their name and email address. So this is time now to test our opt-in. So what I need to do, if all goes well, if I enter my name and my email address here, I should be redirected to a thank you page. And if I go over here to ConvertKit and check my list, I should also see a subscriber added to my mailing list. So let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to add Mac. I'm also going to add my email address. Click on subscribe. Okay, so now this has redirected me to the thank you page. So everything is working fine, which is great. The next stage now is to go to our ConvertKit account and check my reports. Okay, so now we see that we have one subscriber and one visitor. So if I click here on the subscriber, this should be my name. You can see here. And it also confirms that uh, this was submitted on November the 15th. So this is how you grow your email list using ConvertKit and, how, and also using our basic funnel. So all the tools that I used in this tutorial, I would link them in the uh, video description below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I will also leave a link to my course, which is absolutely free. It's called WordPress Mastery. And if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will also give you access to Divi, which is the page builder that I've been using to create these two pages. All you have to do is to send me an email and with the... Uh, receipt and I will give you access to that course. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification if you want to see more of my tutorials. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.